The flag of Washington's District of Columbia has three red stars, one for each city-state in the three-city empire. This corporate empire of three city-states controls the world economically through London's inner city, militarily through the District of Columbia, and spiritually through the Vatican. The Constitution for the District of Columbia operates under a tyrannical Roman law known as Lex Fori, which bears no resemblance to the U.S. Constitution. When Congress passed the Act of 1871, it created a separate corporate government for the District of Columbia. This treasonous act allowed the District of Columbia to operate as a corporation outside the original Constitution of the United States and outside of the best interests of American citizens. A sobering study of the signed treaties and charters between Britain and the United States exposes a shocking truth. The United States has always been, and still is, a British crown colony. King James I was famous not for just changing the Bible into the King James Version, but for signing the first charter of Virginia in 1606. That charter granted America's British forefathers a license to settle and colonize America. The charter also guaranteed that future kings and queens of England would have sovereign authority over all the citizens and colonized land in America stolen from the Indians. After America declared its independence from Great Britain, the Treaty of 1783 was signed. That treaty specifically identifies the King of England as the Prince of the United States and contradicts the belief that America won the War of Independence. Although King George III of England gave up most of his claims over his American colonies, he kept his right to continue receiving payment for his business venture of colonizing America. If America had really won the War of Independence, they would never have agreed to pay debts and reparations to the King of England. When Congress passed the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, the U.S. President was made subservient to the King of England. The 13th Amendment is called the Title of Nobility Amendment and forbids U.S. Presidents and their officials from using royal titles like King or Prince or Baron. For some mysterious reason, the 13th Amendment, which was ratified in 1810, no longer appears on current copies of the Constitution. America's blood-soaked war of independence against the British bankrupted America and turned its citizens into permanent debt slaves of the King. In the War of 1812, the British torched and burned to the ground the White House and all U.S. government buildings and destroyed ratification records of the U.S. Constitution. One century later, a corrupt U.S. Congress committed the biggest theft in world history. They passed Paul Warburg's Federal Reserve Act in 1913, handing over America's gold and silver reserves and total control of America's economy to the Rothschild banksters. Most Americans still believe that the Fed or Federal Reserve is the government. It is not. The Fed is a privately owned banking system whose majority Class A shareholders are the Rothschilds, Warburgs, Kuhn and Loeb, J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller, Israel Seif, and the Lehman Brothers. This private banking cartel is the Fed and is never audited and never pays taxes. They print and design America's money, which displays their symbols of an Egyptian pyramid, a Masonic all-seeing eye, and the words, in God we trust. Who exactly is the God they trust? They also collect American taxpayers' money through the IRS. Then they loan it back again with interest to pay for roads, bridges, and other public works. Most U.S. citizens believe that the United States is a country and that the president is the most powerful man on earth. The United States is not a country. It is a corporation and the president is president of the corporation of the United States. He and his elected officials work for the corporation, not for the American people. Since the United States is a corporation, who owns the corporation of the United States? Like Canada and Australia, whose leaders are prime ministers of the Queen and whose land is called Crown Land, the United States is just another crown colony. Crown colonies are controlled by the empire of three city-states. At the center of each city-state is a towering, phallic-shaped stone monument 
called an obelisk that points skyward. In D.C. city-state, the obelisk, known as the Washington Monument, was dedicated to Freemason George Washington by the Freemason Grand Lodge of the District of Columbia. The secret of Brotherhood of Freemasons laid the Washington Obelisk's cornerstone in 1848 and contributed 22 Masonic memorial stones. 250 Masonic lodges financed the Washington Monument Obelisk, including the Knights Templar Masonic Order. At the heart of London city-state is a 187-ton, 69-foot-tall Egyptian obelisk called Cleopatra's Needle. It was transported from Egypt and erected on the banks of the River Thames. In Vatican City, another Egyptian obelisk towers high above St. Peter's Square.
This is a certified true copy of my live statement of birth. You can get this by applying for it at the Registrar General. They'll give it to you. And it's very interesting because this is where it all began. This is the foundation document. All identification is generated from this document. And so if the foundation document is no good, anything that's made from it is no good. That means driver's licenses, health cards, everything. Now what they did here, this is exactly what he meant when he said, soon every American will be required to register their biological property. Now your parents didn't realize what they were doing when they filled this out, and these didn't exist before 1933. Birth records were recorded in scripture, and these only came into being in 1933 when they hatched this plan. They created a corporate fiction with a name just like yours. In doing this, they registered and monetized the spirit and soul of a living being. This denotes ownership. And when your parents were tricked into filling this out, they allowed your spirit and your soul to be monetized. And futures were sold on you. Spirit and soul, I don't care. Now, this is my birth certificate. This is actually a share. See this red number? This A, I'm born in Canada, this is a class A share. Now, this is called a CUSIP number. And all securities require a CUSIP number. And that's what this is. And you are held as collateral to secure the debt which our government owes to international bankers. So you and me and all these people here are actually collateral. And we don't even own our lives. We are chattel. And we believe we're free. I made an application to the Registrar General and I got my original social insurance application. Now before they sent it to me, they put a little piece of paper over this before they photocopied it. Because my friend has his and they didn't block this out. And when you hold it up, you see Bank of Canada. It is said that the best slaves are the ones who don't know that they're enslaved. And we all have invisible chains on us and we don't know it. What truth? That you are a slave. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. We're talking about big bucks. We're not talking about hundreds of millions or even hundreds of billions now. We're talking about trillions of dollars. The obligation is immeasurable. Nobody can measure it. This door is wide open now. It's going to happen, whether you like it or not. Do you notice that they have the same amount of ink on them? Do you notice that they're made out of the same virtually worthless stuff? It's paper. Did you get it? It's paper. When we create money, we have created an instrument of value that has no value of its own. And it's just as expensive or inexpensive to print the 20 as it is to print the 1. In January of 1913, in December of 1913, he signed the Federal Reserve Act, bringing the Federal Reserve System into place in America and did what Thomas Jefferson said must never happen. He took the control of the money away from the people by taking it away from the Congress and gave it to a group of private individuals who have to pay taxes on the money they loan the government. Okay, but it is something that's listed on the stock exchange as K. Yeah, it does pull up under that. And does it have a value associated with it? Yes, but I, I don't think this is correct. I don't even think that it, it actually, I mean, it's saying that it's $1 million, which is not right. <laughs> Why would that be incorrect in your estimation? Well, because it's showing underneath that 0% and it's not showing anything that it closed on. Um, 
That's right. Nothing existed. It would have closed on an amount from yesterday. But it's saying that it is on the stock exchange, and it's that's claiming that it's a uh, million dollars in value. Yes, but yes. I, I honestly don't think it's correct. I've never seen something like this before. So. Okay. Um, there's now there's a couple other letters too. I don't know if this is right or not. At the well, very end of part of the description, it says PVT. Private. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, where where is that? That's at the end of the five. Uh, no, it actually is in the description that comes up after I enter in the number. Oh, is there anything else in the description? Yeah, in fact, I'll I'll give you the whole thing here. It's UPL dash OP two tomorrow's did, date. Did you say one pin? Yes, uh huh. Okay. Or not tomorrow's date, but January tenth, two thousand nine. Um. So it says, oh, 110, uh, is it spelled out or is it the, the number? It's the number, it's numeric. Okay, so 1102009? Yes. Okay. And after that, there's a in the slash 11. Okay, slash 11 dash PVT. Gotcha. Very interesting. Um, and there's one other thing that I can look under. Yeah. I found part of the description a little bit lower down at the page. It refers to uh, B O M. B O M. B as in boy. Yeah. Uh, B as in boy. Yeah. O as in Oscar. M as in Mike. Okay. And it says it's power shares. Power shares what? Uh, D is in Delta, D is in Bravo, Ace Metals. Ace? A C E? Um, B A S E. B A S E. Like baseball. Like base. Okay. D Base Metals? Um, power shares D D Base Metals. Okay. No idea what that is, huh? Could that be possibly the owner of the certificate? Um, it's, it's very possible. I honestly have, haven't heard of this before. So. Okay. Um, can you check out one? Uh, is there anything else on there? Um, let's see here. Under the initial number that you gave me, there is not. Mm -hmm. um, under this power shares. Yeah. It shows that the last year was twenty dollars and sixty cents. So, per share, it's twenty dollars and sixty cents. Yes, under and this, the power shares. On, okay, and does it say anything about how many shares that there are in existence? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like there's a uh, hundred and five thousand. Hundred.